We're in the 21st century, and the moon is still in the midst of controversy. There are many governments and private companies that have different purposes for this natural satellite. Of all the plans, the most controversial is that of Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Do you want to know what this mogul intends? Stay with us to find out, because it turns out the moon holds more secrets than we imagined. Ready to join the finest squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. With that being said, let's begin. UFOs on the Moon On May 2012, in Richmond, Texas, Bill Bryson, a ufologist and amateur astronomer, was at home watching the moon with his telescope. It was already 3 o'clock in the morning when he took a sip of coffee to stay awake. Upon placing his eyes in the telescope, he saw something that not only woke him up entirely, but left him without sleep for several days. As you can see in the following material, the first thing we appreciate is the moon. This one is looking normal, apparently. We can immediately notice how a series of strange black bodies appear and disappear at an incredible speed. As if this weren't impressive enough, in a later take, many more of these fast, unidentified objects are displayed. Perhaps due to these unexplained phenomena, there have been no manned landings since the one carried out by Apollo 17 in December 1972. It's possible that the crew members of this mission have had close encounters of the third type. Nevertheless, as we'll see later, this decade's projects to send people back to this natural satellite seem to have no end. The Soviet Moon Have you heard about the Cold War? This took place between 1946 and 1991. It happened between the United States of America and the extinct Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. This conflict developed in many areas, and one of them is the remembered space race. Vladimir Pavlovich Barman was a scientist born in Moscow who was in charge of designing the first Russian spaceport. It was so important that even the asteroid 22254 Vlad Barman was named after him in 1978 as a tribute. At the beginning of the 60s, Barman was in charge of the central office of design of construction of experimental machines in the Soviet Union. Here, he designed the blueprints of a project called Module of Housing of the Station Moon. According to the blueprints, it would be 32 feet long and 18 feet in diameter, and would be protected by a material that covers the surface of the moon, called the lunar regolith. The development of an underground lunar station was also projected. It would have a weight of 6.5 tons, 19 feet in length and 11 feet in diameter. This one would also have the capacity to house six cosmonauts. The most curious thing is that it was thought that the central body of this piece of engineering had the capacity to bury itself, leaving the transport mechanism up. Indian Igloo in case you think the United States, Russia, and China are the only countries planning to reach the moon, let us tell you, you're wrong. Currently, India is developing innovative ideas, which may place it at the forefront of a new space race of the 21st century. The Indian Space Research Agency, or ISRO, plans to place a set of igloos on the lunar surface and then use them to launch missions to Mars. They even plan to make these traditionally polar structures with the use of 3D printing. The International Space Station will be out of service in the year 2024. Milswami Anandurai, director of the ISRO, believes this initiative can serve as a substitute for the ISS in conducting experiments and space research. In the initial phase, there is talk of sending robotic unmanned vehicles, 3D printers, and other construction materials to the lunar surface. At this point, we plan to start building habitats favorable to humans. Can you imagine seeing these structures someday on the moon? Do you think India will carry out the first manned moon landing of the 21st century? Tell us in the comments. Lunar Palace Thus far this century, the People's Republic of China has become a world power. Within its plans are to lead advances related to multiple fields of science, including cosmology. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the phrase Moon Palace? Maybe you'll think of some science fiction movie like Iron Sky. Well, we inform you that the Chinese leader Xi Jinping has given statements in which he talks about developing this mega structure in the near future. According to Wu Weirin from the China National Administration Space, this project will be launched in the year 2030. This research center would have multiple cylindrical booths where the scientific staff would live. These modules would be around a central structure in which several laboratories will be located. This complex would be located at the south pole of the moon, motivated by the amount of solar energy received here. They also want to create a probe in the direction of Mars. In fact, a search for astronauts willing to inhabit this building is already underway. Business on the Moon no deal, that moon money is mine. Do you know this reference from Homer Simpson? Recently, it took effect when Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon, 
Announced during the International Space Development Conference 2018 in Los Angeles, his plans to take several of its factories to the moon. This through his space company, Blue Origin. To do so, he wants to create moon compartments with the joint collaboration of NASA and ESA. If this is impossible, he plans to follow his innovative venture 100% privately. The fundamental reason for this idea is to contribute to the reduction of global warming produced in part by the multiple industrial complexes located on our planet. For now, Bezos is in search of alternatives that lower the cost involved in bringing people to this natural satellite. Since he states that, with the right vehicle, you can go and return in a couple of days. He even mentions that the existence of moon ice deposits opens the doors to the consumption of drinking water for those who work in these otherworldly industries. Cemetery on the Dark Side of the Moon If there's something that still causes intrigue is the dark side of the moon. This has served as inspiration for ufologists and conspiracy theorists that talk about Adolf Hitler hiding here after his defeat in 1945. The band Pink Floyd even used this phase of the moon to give name to its most emblematic disc in 1973. Recently, it has been revealed the existence of a real cemetery on this surface. But don't be scared. The reality is a bit disappointing. It's a junkyard. All the missions sent to this natural satellite have left here some residue after their return to Earth, including unmanned vehicles that have been confined to the space after being unincorporated. There are six space probes found in this junkyard, five of which were shipped by the United States and one by Japan. It's also possible to find the remains of Soviet missions 14, 19, and 22. What do you think of this peculiar cemetery? Do you think it's possible that recycling plants will be created on the moon one day to make better use of all the scrap metal? Holidays on the Moon The islands of the Caribbean are an attractive destination where you would sure enjoy your holidays. Unfortunately, a Japanese tourist doesn't share this thought. This tourist for a time remained anonymous. Not because of the controversy of his opinion, but because of the commotion that the place he has chosen has created. That's right, we're talking about the moon. This person, who later revealed himself as Yusaku Meizawa, would become the first SpaceX's, mogul Elon Musk's company, space tourist. The round-trip ticket cost more than $150 million. Originally, he planned to take this trip by the end of 2018, but it has been postponed. Elon isn't the only one interested in mastering space tourism. Jeff Bezos of Amazon has plans to start selling tickets by the end of 2019 through his company Blue Origin. His proposal is more honest. In this initial phase, he offers as a destination to make a suborbital flight to Earth. The most tenacious competitor of Musk in this field is Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Galactic, whose spacecraft have already achieved a speed 2.47 times faster than the speed of sound. Russian Lunar Reconquest On April 12, 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man to reach outer space. At 58 years of this event and in the middle of a commemorative ceremony, Russian leader Vladimir Putin made an unexpected announcement that left more than one speechless. The tense relations between Russia and the United States are no secret to anyone. In fact, there are many who speak of a new Cold War. Despite all this, Putin says he won't abandon the space missions that are being developed by NASA in conjunction with the Russian Federal Space Agency. Within these plans, a joint space station stands out, with a launch date for the year 2022. It has even announced the possible delivery of a manned mission by the year 2030. After achieving the moon landing, he plans to establish a permanent space base in order to investigate the land surface. Helium-3 is an attractive fuel to replace terrestrial hydrocarbons. According to Russian research, there are more than 1 million tons in the moon. It's estimated that 100 tons of this fuel would be enough to satisfy the energy demands of our planet. Undoubtedly, all these discoveries bring us closer every day to the spatial colonization. Space Force The United States has shown a renowned interest in the moon. Everything seems to indicate that we'll soon see NASA astronauts landing on the moon once again. President Donald J. Trump has recently stated he plans to extract natural resources from this natural satellite and maintain an American presence there in the long term. But what has caused controversy has been an announcement that will surprise you. This is the creation of a sixth military branch, which will be called Space Force, in the style of the Imperial troops of the Star Wars saga. And, as expected, it will be able to fight future war conflicts in outer space. We don't blame you if this sounds familiar to you. In the 1980s, President Ronald Reagan surprised everyone with the so-called Strategic Defense Initiative, where he proposed the use of laser beams in an anti-missile shield located in outer space. Despite all this, President Trump's controversial plan has found supportive voices in the renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, 
Everything indicates that perhaps the next battles will be fought in outer space or on the lunar surface. The Robotic City So far, we've talked about projects developed separately by major powers such as the United States, Russia, China, India, and private